Hey, yo. What's up, Gomertrons? Gomertrons, Gomertrons. I got, a, I got a little something special to drink. Ooh, I can't wait to see COVID it. Up. <laughs> All right. Maybe I, oh, shoot. It's bad for Adam. He's going to be mad. Oh, <laughs> I don't. That's fine. Sorry, Adam. We'll pre apologize. Sorry, Sorry, Adam. Sorry. Better Adam. to better to ask forgiveness than permission. Right, but we didn't sin yet. <laughs> well, you're about to. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, geez. It's not sinning. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, click. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're listening to Overcoming Runner's Block, a two gomers podcast about regular people chasing big goals, facing their excuses and barriers, and inviting a nation along for the run. This is Block 37, I Have COVID, Gomer 2 edition, for September 2nd, 2022. Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Overcoming Runner's Block. This is Anthony speaking, one of those two aforementioned gomers coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, with my friend Steven, all the way out in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hey, dude. Hey, man. How are you feeling? Pretty, I mean, recovering. I, th yeah. This can kind of serve, too, as like a summer in review, sure. partially because most of the episodes people have heard this summer were like recorded in the spring basically there and even some of the dates got messed up yep right we had people calling us out i'm gonna find out who did it on the on facebook <laughs> for for like just i think three episodes in a row like why are the dates always wrong at the beginning of <laughs> and well, and i like one go ahead it's almost the worst which we fixed nobody even heard it Right. But the last one was going to be like, you know, from two months ago, because we thought it was coming out then. Right. It's It's been like, what? We, so we recorded Code Brown, mm -hmm. like before we knew about Jeff Galloway. Mm -hmm. And that m messed everything up. And then you just got to know sometimes, Nation, sometimes we're just like, <laughs> Code Brown felt evergreen, more like oh. Code huh. Evergreen. Like yeah. at, we could put a code code Brown out anytime we just totally. um, then listened through it again. And we we're like, uh, that date was a month before. And it was a month <laughs> out from when we recorded it. <laughs> um, Jeff Plain said, was this a back to the future test? Pretty sure you guys said that it was August 19th at the beginning. This must've been <laughs> the one that came out. So that was a later date than it was. I think that was our August 12th. Ep, oh, yeah. And we said August 19th yep oh nation dang it. it's it's been a it's been quite a summer for us as you'll hear in this block yep oh but i don't know if you saw this on our email big news oh. big news anthony the right. walt disney company that's right knows who we are did you see this email mm. wait dear two gomers email was that from We're, today no it was a week ago Dear, dear two gomers, we're sorry to oh, inform you it. that an intellectual property claim has been filed by the Walt Disney Company against your design. <laughs> what? We got a cease and desist what? from Walt Disney Company. We did? Yeah. What? Oh. So, uh, they, I mean, uh, yeah, on T Public. Um, so. Oh, it must be the uh, Millennium Falcon. It's the, it's, I mean, they are so, I mean, wow. Star Wars, even pre-Disney Star Wars was very litigious, you know, yeah. like George Lucas was like very, I'm, I'm going to burn every holiday special or whatever, right? If he didn't like right, it. Right, right. Um, yep. But also they didn't want anyone using their IP. Uh, but I just thought it was like, finally getting some notice. Not the right. I see. I mean, is it Bob Iger, the CEO himself, checking up on these things, or is it just like a computer? Do you think oh, that has like bot. an an advanced image search or something that's just scrolling 100%, and scrolling? Dude, oh man. Okay, so it was from it was from our our t shirt thing. That's why I didn't see it because whenever we get the t shirts up, I'm like, I figured it's like not even like not only not important, 
<laughs> but like it's a spam. <laughs> so, nope. This one is a I didn't read it. DMCA takedown notice. Oh. Um, and so our it was the 2016 Conquer the Capital t shirt, mm -hmm. which had not only the capital on it, which was cool, but mm -hmm. like you're saying, the Millennium Falcon. And so the House of Mouse is upset with us, bro. Oh, man, dude. Well, we're no longer available. Pride, dude. Yeah. Um, now, Paramount has not caught on yet to the um, swim, run. What is it? Swim, bike, run, bike, warp swim, run. shirt. Yep. Which is, by the way, a popular shirt. Yeah. For uh, on the Gomer site, bit.ly slash Gomer shirts. Mm -hmm. Nor has Universal with the we still have the um uh, a, a DeLorean shirt up, mm. which I think well, also has a burrito can, on it. People, <laughs> I know. Let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> this episode of of Overcoming Runners Block is sponsored by T Public Gomer shirts. <laughs> bit.ly slash gomer shirts and if you're watching on video right now you see mm -hmm. steven has a prop which prop on, on his head oh right. yeah a father's day right. gift uh, another good summer in review thing that happened mm -hmm. so i got two things at some point i will wear the sweatshirt that i also got for father's day that you are yes. gonna love um yes oh. but this hat was not immediately immediately recognizable to you because it's a pretty deep cut. Yeah, it's a deep cut. I still don't. I still don't even remember it. So this is this is the trucker hat that uh, Sylvester Stallone wears, and turns backwards to really arm wrestle good right. in over the top. It's so um, good. And it's 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 I I don't even it's a like a it's called Bono. It's like a non-existent truck company like a okay. like a out of business trucking company hat sure. that he was wearing must have been in business then in the 80s but i had to get or my my kids got me this hat on etsy and another another thing on etsy a sweatshirt that i'll i will oh. wear as a surprise someday yes you know what it looks like over skype or over zoom sorry yeah it's bone like b-o-n-n-e dot a-u oh i gotcha like a like a website from uh i see yeah yeah that's really that? cool oh i love yep. it that's a nice hat dude and it there's a tag in it look at this tag in it with the over the top logo oh yeah nice so i think i mean maybe they didn't get it from i wonder if they got it from some movie prop you know what i mean like sometimes mm -hmm. there's like a um a, a movie branding like Gomer, like bit.ly slash Gomer shirts, but for some right. entrepreneur who's like, I'm going to make a whole bunch of over the top merch. <laughs> for over the top, a deep cut movie, dude, that I've yes. only seen once and I did totally enjoy. Oh, it's so good. I need to um, see that again. Yeah. That, that movie goes down easy. It's just that kind of 80s movie where you can just soak in it. It's oh. so dumb and so great. Oh, um, love it. Now, I did watch quite a few of those kinds of movies when I had COVID, the big news from this summer, mm -hmm. that we didn't want to just not talk about, even though we've already had right. a COVID app. Right. But we wanted to talk about your experience. Yep. It's still prescient. It's still in the minds of, mm -hmm. you know, our listeners and, and everything. It's not gone. Right. Um, so, and I mean, we talked about a bunch of times. I mean, I mean, we talked about early in the whole thing, like you always get sick. Right. We are like, one day you'll probably get it first, right? And Anthony, you'll probably never get it. That and was I'll our guess. Never, right. Yep. And then, dude, you made it as as long as anybody I've known. Yeah. I there There are still folks out there who haven't gotten it. Mm -hmm. I also know people who have gotten it three times. Yep. Our neighbor. Yeah. Mostly, um, I would say people that friends, work in yep. medicine or yes, in public exactly. schools and stuff like that are, have gotten a lot of times. But yeah, I finally got it. I sent you that text, of course, with the test. It's like when, yep. when new moms send their husband the, the you know the, the two lines. <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, it was right. that I kind was of out test. And I was like, 
no yeah. dang it dude yep uh, now was there a part of you that was like oh good he got it now i'm not the only one of the gomers who got it oh okay no that oh wow that's nice i of was you. not like yes or <laughs> right. anything like that or like hey, hey good no, no no i was like oh man like okay because i was i was loving your streak dude mm. like you were where they were saying on on the the social medias uh -huh. like almost like a unicorn at this point right yep yeah you know we love our streaks and we are for one another when it comes to streaks right 100 100 like there's no <laughs> there's no jealousy in that i don't feel like nope. so no, that that makes sense to me that you would be on my side streak wise oh, i felt so bad mm. um yeah. well do you have something to crack let's just go right into the oh. block okay sure yeah yeah let's do it okay okay oh wow hey. oh How's it going? I'm a giant over here with my tiny coke. Just I my mean... oh, dude. <sighs> that cinnamon, vanilla. What, what? How many ounces is that coke you got there? Now you were saying that Adam would be mad at you. Five. Look at that. Okay, because Wait, we are giant. we are we are trying to avoid soda this year. Yes. Um, but my in-laws were just here. Yeah. Um, and um, because I was gone for a couple weeks, mm -hmm, and they right. get these which is wonderful. Yeah. And my I'm cleaned out a seltzer water, dude. Wow. Of the fridge. Oh so no. I had to grab one of these. It was these or a Miller light. <laughs> well, I, like... I think you made the right decision. <laughs> and or I was going to say 7.5 ounces. You could do a lot worse than that. I mean, that's, that, that's a healthy Coke right there. Now, yeah. wait, did I tell people on, I want to get back to the fact that you were gone for two weeks. Cause I want to just talk about that a little bit. Um, but did I tell people on the main feed that I drank a Coke in the shower or was that on the bonus? I think that was on the bonus disc. I think so. Okay. Yeah, you tried it, right? My, I also I don't remember. List. Yeah. I don't ask. I also don't remember if that was on the main feed. The fact that I wanted to drink a Coke in the shower. Also I'm pretty pop, sure pop. it was summer bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. My big old Somewhere. summer to do list, which mm -hmm. uh, great news. I've crossed almost every single thing off including the two things that I added at the bottom drink a Coke. Wait, I'm trying to find it, dude. Where's my, uh, I'm, I don't even have it marked anymore because it was so long ago. Um, I, th it was two different kinds of Coke that I wanted to drink in the shower. Here it is. Drink a vanilla <laughs> Coke in the shower, which I did <laughs> and yep. drink a Mexican Coke in the shower, oh, which I did to get the, to get the glass bottle feel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I said, drink a beer in the shower after mm. mowing the lawn was like the best thing ever. Right. An ice cold, right? Right. And so I had so that, to yeah. get the closest simulacrum to that. So I went two different kinds of Coke, had a great time. Okay. That's another summer <laughs> update. But Good job, dude. You just said that you were, you're just back, right? From being away for weeks, which is another reason we had to bank a ton of episodes because we couldn't yep. record a ton while you were gone. Yep. Um. You were you were out west. Yeah, dude. I went out west, partner to buy where you live. Actually, not really. I was in Oregon outside of Bend. Oregon. We were in the same time zone. Yep, we were in the same time zone for two weeks. That was awesome. And you flew through Phoenix and were trapped there for a whole night and didn't see yep. me. Sorry. Oh, got in and out burger though. Ooh, that's right. Dang. There you so go. we, we gotta do a whole thirteen point one episode about In N Out Burger. I have right. a three point sermon. That I want to do based on that showed up in my shared notes. <laughs> I put... <laughs> what I what I what we can learn from In and Out a three point talk by Anthony Georgeson. <laughs> so we're gonna put that up for thirteen point oneers. Yes. Okay. Good. Um. Yep. Got that. Did a ton of hiking. So that's another mm -hmm. bonus content we're gonna have is perfect yep. hike. Right. Soon. Mm -hmm. Um. Man, dude. I mean, any anybody that's out there so beautiful mm. it's amazing yeah um dude i'm i'm really drawn to the mountains man yep tell me again about your mountain behind you yeah right we, in front of you at the end of our street is mount well is a great view of mount eldon which mount is eldon. the closer but smaller mountain to flagstaff okay. um and then farther away but bigger the highest peak in the southwest is mount humphreys that's the one that we summit ah. Um, when we go once or twice a year to summit that mountain, that's the big peak, but the one 
but it's they kind of look the same size because the one Mount Eldon is closer um, and actually really very close to our house. So it's it's one of the best things about living on this side of town is you get a great view of that mountain. Oh, and it changes it it changes like every week what it looks like the, sometimes mm. the clouds roll over it sometimes there's flowers on it it's it's a great thing so you mm. you're you're when you were in bend that's also a mountainous area right oh yeah i mean you've got the three sisters mm. uh north middle and south sister so there's like three mountains in a row okay and then there's a mountain right there called broken top and mm. then there's Jefferson Mount Jefferson is like a little further away so like on a clear day you can see that and then way far out is Mount yeah. Hood which is right by mm, Portland that's right so like yep. on a super clear day dude we could see like it's three hour drive wow like you could see Hood and then behind that is Rainier can you see can you see Rainier you also not see that okay the earth earth's too curvy oh how dare you earth I know it's like clearly it's not flat like if it was a flat earth, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> the extra, earth. extra, read all about it. The earth is clearly not flat. You can tell because that if you go to bed. I can't see Rainier, right? Like, <laughs> right. I mean, if, if so, yeah, that's another thing. If the earth was flat, shouldn't you be able to see like the, the, you know, the, the empire state, like, or Dubai, what's that tall? The, well, it is, is so far away. Now I, I was part of the flat earth society in college, which was not necessarily a club that believed that the flat the earth was flat but it was like this contrarian oh my mm. did, did you know this i was in this no. like free thinking club when i was a freshman uh -huh. called the flat earth society you would like yeah. just doubt things it was miserable oh gosh didn't stay very long um but there are reasons i guarantee you there are reasons that a flat earther would say oh you can't you can't see this from that far away just because of the, you know, the atmospheric stuff, right? Like you can't, you can't see far away because it, it's covered up by the distance. Sure. Like you just can't see that far away because you can't see that far away. Right. Great. Like, and those were most of the arguments that we would have. It's just in the flat earth society. Away. <laughs> Burj Khalifa. Khalifa. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Burj Khalifa. I think. Is yeah. What use. That's the one in Dubai. Okay. That that really like, tall building that Tom Cruise jumps yep. between in Ghost Protocol. Yep. What a yep. scene! Him and um, uh, 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 um, uh, the guy in our logo, Simon Pegg. Yeah, Simon Pegg. Yes. One quarter portion. <laughs> One quarter portion. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. They were amazing. We went to caves. Yeah. yeah. We went on rivers. Wow. Uh, it's just so awesome. And, it, you know, also I like played five full concert series. Right. Amazing. So I was also working big summer. Yeah. So, good stuff, it's man. Great. Um, that's a little teaser for the perfect hike. Cause we're going to talk more yeah. about our, our most beautiful hikes. What we, what snacks we take typical oh, Gomer yeah. stuff, what to wear, what not mm -hmm. to wear, what right. to do hundred percent. So we'll have that perfect hike coming up soon. Also, dude, the Myers, I just got to thank them once again. Rose listens to the podcast. She's my oh, right. Your host family. There. Yeah. Yep. My host family, Richard and Rose. Yep. Rock. They're and a new, uh, a new Rose Gomertron, here. if I'm not yep. mistaken. Newest Gomertron. Welcome, Rose. If you want to join Rock. Rose and get all the bonus stuff that we're talking about here, patreon.com slash two Gomers. This episode Perfect. of Overcoming Runner's Block is brought to you by patreon.com slash two gomers okay yes right the, right after um we recorded the jeff galloway episode yep for a couple days i started feeling sick yep S throat scratch right and you just get this feeling where you're like please god no yeah i don't know oh, if you god, felt no. that in january when you got it like oh i hope it's oh, no. not Remember oh that? no um Th then again it's been years of feeling snape, that way right like snape. anytime you feel gross you're like uh oh totally no i'm I'm thinking snape right now or the, hans gruber oh, hans gruber i got i got confused oh god no his yeah. german through american accent that that british guy was doing <laughs> through british yep 
down shoot. Um, <laughs> so I started feeling gross. I went to a wedding that weekend. Um, I can't remember. I can't. It's hard to remember when you feel like after the wedding. I truly felt gross. Um, mm-hmm. it was mostly outdoor this wedding, but there was some inside, and it's just like you, you just never know what to do anymore. So that mon that that Monday, the twenty fifth, a, a month ago today from the record. Mm-hmm. If people want to timestamp where what the date is that we're recording, uh, I took a test, dude. And I sent you that text. Yep. It got me. COVID. Dang it. Dang it. Um, uh, so I was bummed. And the thing is, you're, you're, you're triple vaxxed. Yep. You know, like. Yep. All that stuff. I'm mostly yep. careful, even though I just said I went to the wedding. But right. it's, it's like when you go to a movie theater, are people masked anymore? Mm, in Atlanta, you'll probably see like one in 10, maybe. Right. Yep, same here. You always see somebody. You always see yep. somebody. The same thing when I go to like a a school thing, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There are there are one in ten kids masked, probably. Maybe more parents yep. than that. I'm, I I can't tell. Um, I was just at a cross country meeting the other day, and mm. looking particularly for who is masked and who is not. Not in a judgy way. It's all research. Nope. Just it's just interesting. And I mean, right. sometimes the like these days. Um, it actually might be somebody that's been exposed or, yeah, you know, has recently had COVID or like, that's yep. why I like, I never judge because I'm like, um, it's, it's somebody that might have that. It's somebody that might have a, a sick family member or a right. medically fragile family member, or is just really trying to be careful. You know, like there's a yeah. million. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the issue with when I got it. Is there a good time to get COVID? Probably. I did not get it when it was a good time because I had to preach at church right. in five right. days. Uh-huh. So it was yep. technically like seven days from when I started getting sick. And you could like justify anything right. when you Google it. You know what well, I mean? You like can look up, you can look up the rules, you can look right. up the CDC guidelines, and then you yep. can figure out from when you had your, you know, your first symptoms and then, yep. you know, start testing all, you know, totally. So it was technically seven days and then I had to like, I preached three times in a row on a Sunday morning. Right. And then several days after that, we had to travel to Denver. Right. And so I was like, I got to recover. Hurry up, recover. Do it. Body. <laughs> Give me all the orange juice. Come on, body. So tell us, tell us a little bit about your symptoms and uh, yeah, like quarantining and just all that so before i got covid i was always thinking maybe i've gotten it already and i just didn't right. know and then i got awesome. it and i was like there's no way oh. i have not gotten ah. this before okay got it it I, it I mean if you remember it doesn't feel like a regular cold i think to some people it does but even now that it's that it's mutated and all this stuff and it's apparently not as bad and like you said i'm triple vaxxed even with that it just felt weird. Hmm. Like, um, I felt very achy. Yep. Uh, feverish. Yep. Sniffly. The little throat ache. But dude, and you were saying you were saying this on your COVID app, just exhausted. Totally exhausted. Yep. Just saps all of your energy. Yep. So, the. The concern for me is, will I actually be able to perform the tasks I need to perform in the next couple of weeks? Right. Um, Yeah. Just because, like, will I have the brain power? It's also like that brain fog. Did you have the brain fog? Brain fog. I think, well, I'm just sort of exhausted and have brain fog (laughs) regularly. (laughs) Okay, right. More than usual, I should say. It's one of those things, like, right. I'm just like, uh. But yeah, yeah, yep. the the exhaustion and the headacheness, right? Headacheiness, wh- however you would say, like just the pressure sort of feeling. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, it felt like my eyes were too big. It felt very similar to when I made that old fashioned at the Christmas party, the Zoom <laughs> Christmas <right>. party, <laughs> that was yep. mostly just Sprite and a ton of alcohol. 
I can't oh, remember yeah. what kind anymore. What is it? What do you put brandy. in old fashioned? Right. Brandy. Um, just like way too much brandy. And then it felt like that evening and the next morning, like my eyes were bigger than like two, two sizes bigger than they were supposed to be. Right. Like the end of uh, uh, total recall. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yes. I felt like Schwarzenegger and his girlfriend rolling around on the surface of Mars. Oh no. Ah, ah, wait, ah. Wait, did, do they die? They don't die. No, they die in a. He has a dream where he dies at the beginning. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. starts like in his dream or whatever. Yep. Which you don't know if it's a dream or not in Total Recall. Right. But anyways, I think he almost dies in his dream, and then at the end, just in time, <laughs> they oxygenate the entire planet, so they're fine. Oh right, like super quick, totally. Right. Yep. Man, I need to watch that again, dude. You and around. actually, it's it's a pretty good. Uh, what you're saying it really relates to me i i felt like arnold with his eyes bugging out of his head you know, for probably a week that's one of those feelings that you get when you're sick mm -hmm. like you think like some like or even when you like you know are at the dentist and and you're you're numbed yep and your lip feels massive yeah it's like you think you look different like you feel like you look different than you actually do like you, you like for a moment you feel like total recall yes do you like the here. feeling of getting numbed in your no. mouth at the dentist? Oh, okay. I kind of no, like it. Really. I like it. I don't. I think it's fun. <laughs> Especially when you get the feeling back. That part I really love. That's cool. Yeah. Like when I all like of that. a sudden you're like, oh, good. See, for me, I have a, like a, a little bit of historical family of origin. Oh. Trauma built up around it. Because remember, my dad got numbed and the feeling never came back in his oh, life. Oh, right. Yeah. Ugh. So like he okay. couldn't play trumpet anymore, trombone for like. Sure. So you years. have fear attached to it, also. I do. I do. Okay. Uh, Not to minimize that, but that that is no. Like I mean, totally it, it, it's different than me. I'm just like woo, <laughs> right now trying to drink drinks. Check this out. It's funny. Slap me, dude. Punch <laughs> Slap me, dude. Me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not too far off. Um. So that's how it felt like while I was sick, and then then I started testing negative before I preached. Yep. Yep. I was testing negative but it was hanging on and so yeah. like you were saying like you never know when to judge people like then i was like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna push through and do this but i'm gonna mask yep when i'm not up front and far away from people and i'm yep. gonna like escape out the back basically in between mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my sermons yep. um it turned out okay i think but i don't think you would know uh but i was still feeling really sick then mm, and it was a push mm -hmm. yeah but there was also the emotional baggage too i don't know if you want to right. get into that at all but sure. like i mean your son is about mm -hmm. to head for college and this is the last week you're going to hang out yeah so and i quarantined you... we yep. did what we were supposed to do mm -hmm. as usual i mm -hmm. do what i'm supposed to do yeah. Sorry, this sounds I'm I'm a little embittered by it, but follow the rules. I didn't want him to get sick, even though right, it, totally. I think yeah, Noah's had COVID. now only Jack has it in the house okay. that we know of. Um yeah. Noah and Jessica got it late January. Um even though he's had it already, who knows? And so I didn't want to get him sick before he went to school. Right. And so there's also the added you're you're totally right. I felt like more depressed mm -hmm. than I've probably felt in years because you're physically sick. You're separated from people. Yep. Nobody's coming close to you, even though my love, the love language of physical touch is fifth out of five for me. I still like right. to be touched once in a while. And so <laughs> just, a, just a, like a week or more of like no physical. I mean, I pet Chewy. That was nice. At Aww. least he'll touch me. <laughs> but everyone else was pretty hands off. We'll just say that. Um, and like Sorry, Jessica slept in a different room even. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, it was it, it's just like she didn't want to get sick because we had to travel. Um, mm -hmm. And it's nothing against me. It's just like you do what you need to do. And so totally. that felt isolating and depressing. Mm -hmm. And then like mm -hmm. you're saying, I basically missed a week of the last three weeks with Noah. Mm. So yep. I was pretty upset. 
all that. And I had to cancel my half marathon. Oh, right. That and I had all running and all right. physical activity. Yeah. So we can move probably to talking about that because I do want to talk okay. about how that's been. But yeah. I paid for that free and half marathon, remember, before we ran our one in February because that was our tip to ourselves yep. about right. maintaining. And so I just couldn't run it. So this this thing that happens when you get COVID and how it affects your physical abilities. And I know it's different for everybody. And we heard that on your app yep. when you had it. Um, is like no joke. So I was thinking about this this morning when I was running, like, did it feel like I started over? Like, did it get me to like square one again? Yep. I don't know if that's completely true. So how, how long was it for you not doing any, any walking or running? I didn't run or walk for two weeks. Yeah. That's uh, not enough to put you at square one, dude. But here, here's the thing the what it like the, that plus COVID exhaustion, mm, Okay. which yeah, I still okay. haven't shaken. I don't think I was, I wasn't taking that into account. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. I, th this is what I was going through in my head today. Like two weeks shouldn't set me back to nothing. Yeah. But then you come back exhausted yeah. and all this. Yes. And so my body felt like I hadn't run in a year. And so mm -hmm. to a certain extent, and we have these up at bit.ly slash two covers. How many times am I going to promote our stuff? I don't know. But on yeah, our link right. tree, no, that's not, no, actually link our link tree to Gomer's link tree, which you can find on Instagram um, in our bio. We have those like 5k and 10k training plans. And yeah. the 5k plan kind of assumes that you're starting from nothing. Yes. I love that one. I did that in August. Right. And so I was like, can I, can I restart on the 10k plan? And I tried and I couldn't, hmm. it was too much. Um, Dang. so I, and I will just thank my lucky stars and the Lord Jesus Christ that we have really pressed into the run, walk, run method, because yes. I was like, I'm just going to do that and it's going to be super slow and I'm yep. going to come back. Um, and so now it's been two more weeks and, uh, so two, two weeks now of back to running, um, and the first time I tried, which, and I was just like, maybe I'll try a mile. I couldn't get, I couldn't run a mile Dang. Yep. without stopping. So that's why I'm saying like, it felt like, I, totally I guess did. starting again would be, I put my khaki shorts back on and my yeah, yeah. wool socks. You have, to go, you have to go 15 years ago, a la <laughs> parenthood. <laughs> and go a uh, thousand feet and just yep. and throw up. So it's, well, it's and, not and, starting over. You're right. Another problem with that too was like, we we always started running way too fast. Yep. Right. Like exactly. I think running is sprinting. So you that know? has really changed in my perception of what I'm able to do and what I should be doing, especially mm, yeah. after either an injury, a time off from running, or a sickness. The worst thing you can do is just like bolt out of your house and run super fast for a super long time. Right. It, yeah. Your just body isn't there anymore. Yep. Uh, I don't even, I don't know if your mind is there anymore. Maybe for professional runners, they can, they can recover quickly like that. But I have not found that to be true in the sure. past month. Did you have your bike in your quarantine space? I didn't, but I, I wouldn't have been able to even do that. I don't think like when I was quarantined, I was something. just, I was just too tired. Yeah, totally. I don't, I thinking, and it was a different kind of tired than I've ever experienced before, too. Just like, yeah. what is this tired? Just exhaustion. Yeah. COVID exhaustion. Yep. I was just thinking about, like, you know, when they're on, um, like, a, the space station or on Mars or something, yep. like, in a quarantine? Yeah. At least they can go walking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or yeah, then, then exactly. they run, they run around the thing with the, they run around thing. the spinning spaceship, yep. right? I can't remember <laughs> right. what that is where they simulate gravity. They're always yep. running around that thing. Yeah. Um, even Sylvester Sloan in over the top, he's sitting down all day driving, but he has a, he has a big 
uh, he has like weights in his truck. Right. Remember that? That he's yep. he's he's doing yep. exercises while he's sedentary. While he... Is that a job you'd ever want to do? I was thinking about that on our road trip to San Diego. You tend to think about these things, right, on a road trip. Totally. Um, I I don't think in my current stage of life I would want to do it. Right. Um. But you get to see a lot of the world and listen to a lot of podcasts. Those are the benefits I, if, I was thinking. wonder if we have any truckers listening to our podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, truckers are big podcast listeners. If you're a trucker, totally. let us know. Um, we'd message. love to know that. Would you like to do it? See, when I was younger, like I was I, like we talked about it a little bit on the road trip app. Yeah. Uh, I, I did love to just road trip forever and like. Right. I could do it for a really long time. Like the one, you know, Madison mm-hmm. to Seattle. Yep. The, yeah. The, when, when it started counting in days. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's the same with me when I did my, my drive around the West. I loved that, but right. that was over in a week. Mm-hmm. I don't know about a job, dude. That'd be really hard. I hear it's a really, really hard and challenging job. It, that's gotta be a tough job, man. Yep. It pays really well. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, so the the tiredness of COVID was different, and then when I came back, I I tried to go out like you were saying. I tried to just bolt out. Maybe like I'll just I, I'm sure I'm fine, but I yeah, wasn't. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And so today when I so today was the first time I've run with Jessica, in a hmm. month, um, and I was able to keep up with her for we ran three miles. I was able to keep up with her for a mile and a half, and then I was like just go it it was just go because i think i've mentioned this before like if she runs too slowly her hips hurt yep you have she has to go a certain pace and i was just like i'm hurting you right now you should just go ahead so it was it was nice to do it halfway but i'm still that all that to say i'm just still not recovered Mm mm-hmm Actually, maybe having running in your life is a good way to gauge whether you're fully recovered yet. Sure. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, COVID sucks, man. Yeah, it really does. It's for a lot of reasons, but sucks. when you get it, it really sucks. Mm. Yuck. Yeah, dude. Um, so uh, I I'm does... kind of I'm kind of getting back to me. I did describe it a couple weeks ago to somebody. Like, I just don't feel like myself right now. Mm. Yeah, that's the brain fog thing. Sure. I can't focus and decision making is hard. It's weird. Jeez, is that part of why the last two and a half years? I mean, dude, I, I don't. I I feel like there's just a fog in the world, dude. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> just a You're right. foggy world. I don't we're, yeah. the, like even to catch your bearings. That's a good question. You know, like what I mean? is part of how we kind of feel collectively the past couple of years because so many people are living in a brain fog hmm. and just huh. not able to plan. Right. Not able to, uh, yeah. And it's one of those things where like, you think you've got gotten over the, you know, mm-hmm. the precipice. Yep. And then another thing comes, another, another strain comes. Um, well, and even in your individual recovery, canceled. there's right. like, I can't remember the name for it, but there's like a resurgence where you feel like you're getting better and then you feel sick again. Mm. Um, that a lot of people experience where you're like, okay, I'm over the hump. Yeah. Oh crap. I'm still sick. Uh, you never lost your taste or smell. No, I didn't. Did you ever? Hey, I didn't either. Uh, uh-uh. yeah. None of us did that. I've gotten it in my family. Uh, that, that would suck. That would be Dude, really weird. I know people that got it early, like early, early. Yeah. Like March, April, 2020. Yep. Who still don't have their taste and smell back. Yeah. Me too. Oh man. Uh, that sucks. So you're trying to hold all those things in tension, right? Like yep. at least, at least it wasn't as terrible because I've been triple vaxxed and because the disease is different than it was then. Um, yep. But you're still giving yourself permission to feel the way you feel make smart decisions. Don't force yourself out. So th- those would be my tips. 
I know okay. you, the, the, the tips from our last COVID app were all great. I, I think for me, it was, and I don't know if I did great at this, to be honest with you, is to actually give yourself permission to have COVID and mm-hmm. do the right things. I feel like there's been a turn now where it's like, oh, p- people are just like, oh, it's just like a bad cold. Right. Which in some ways I think diminishes how bad it can feel to some people. Yep. Sure. And it's just like, let's just all get over this. Right. And I'm well, feeling yeah, like I've... I needed to give myself permission midway to have oh. COVID and not feel terrible about having COVID. Right. So you, you're you not saying you have permission to get it. You're saying no, once, no, no. once you have it, it's like, because the shame, I feel like the shame and stigma is totally gone. Yeah. For, yeah. It's definitely different than it's been in the past two years. Because at this point, I know more people that have gotten it than, ha- than have it. The right. unicorn thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, I see what you mean. I'm not saying people go out there and just share drinks with people that no. you know have COVID. Give yourself permission to get it. It's like g- more of what I'm saying is give yourself permission to take care of yourself and recover. Right. Because I think this like whole attitude toward it could translate into wait i shouldn't feel as bad as i do i should get out there and just live my life quickly right. and for some people like me it feels like it's taking a long time hmm. it still is real it still exists and you you need yep. to be okay with giving yourself time to heal yep so embrace the recovery yep. don't beat yourself up yep and know that you're it's you're like the future is going to be better than this moment right now. So right. Like, yeah, definitely like stuck in this forever. Right. Yep. So. But the more I try to push myself out of it faster than I should, the longer yeah. I stay in it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you might as well embrace yeah. the fact that you're sick, take yep. care of yourself and then you won't be sick as long. I'm yep. not a doctor, but that's Hello. what it appears said to me that from the top. <laughs> right. Um, yep. You know, yeah. you need is some pho broth. Mm. Pho broth. I, I I ate a lot of soup. Yes. Ate? Ate soup or drank right. soup. I don't know. I, I had a maybe... lot of soup. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Consumed. <laughs> Consumed. There you go. I also. Verb. <laughs> I also, once I didn't feel kind of like the sickness impacting how I felt like in my stomach. I also like mm-hmm. basically ate whatever I wanted and it was great. I also g- mm-hmm. gave myself permission to do that. And that was fine. Um, mm-hmm. The the last, so besides the using, utilizing run, walk, run when you, th- this just seems like a gift for recovery. Yeah, totally. totally. Um, because you have, or you're giving yourself complete control over your speed and your ability. Um, and you can still go distance. So I just yep. love it. So that's that's kind of like an overall tip. I feel like I'm going to be giving ad nauseum forever. Um, but one thing I was thinking about in my recovery is going back to the flex epiphany. Yep. When I had COVID, that was an I can't. Yep. Sure. The, I think a danger for, I'll just speak personally for me, is that a temporary I can't will become permanent. Mm, Yeah. So two weeks off is a long time for me. Yeah. And that has the potential to create new habits of not running. And so partnered with come back slowly and don't overdo it is don't not do it. Yeah. Right. Don't, don't, sorry for the double negative, but don't yeah. not do it. Don't never do it again. <laughs> exactly. You don't can let an recover. Can't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let an I can't. Is that right? Don't let an I can't become an I won't. Don't confuse don't the let, two. Yeah. Don't let a temporary I can't become I can't forever. Or don't let a temporary I can't be. Uh, yeah. Become a permanent I won't. Yes, that's how it. about that? Yeah, there you go. And so that that's like, uh, just in, in any derailment, 
I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot about it a lot since the flux epiphany and how I can't influence I won'ts and vice versa. But uh, with any I can't derailment, don't tell yourself that you can never come back from that. Yes. Do it slowly. Do it in a healthy way. That's what I've been doing. Cancel what you need to cancel. It was really hard to cancel my half marathon because I had trained up to 10 miles. Yeah. I could have run it. it. Yep. And then it's just, I was just like, oh, that hurts. Even when I was quarantined, I was like, maybe I could still do it. Maybe I'll recover quick enough to in 10 days run this thing. And it just, I just had to put it aside. So, of course, cancel things, take care of yourself. But don't let that become something that derails you permanently. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that you had to go through that. Uh, but, you know, sounds like you're already doing a little better. Mm-hmm. And we're rooting for you. We're cheering you on. I didn't send you a care package of a ton of bad food this time, like <laughs> previous times where you've gotten sick. <laughs> Part of yeah. Because I just wasn't even, like, around. No, that's but, fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Um the, I, I would say that one odd silver lining to it is now I know what it feels like. Yep. And so I have extra compassion for the people that are Down going there. through it. And yep. there are a lot of people that are getting COVID right now. So yep. it's still, it still is a thing. Um, So the, it's tricky, I guess, to hold not, not being fearful of it versus take still taking it seriously. I don't know the answer to how to do that exactly. All I know is I got it. It sucked. I have yep. compassion for people that have it. Yep. Nice, dude. All right, dude. Not well, nice if... that you got it, but nice sharing. <laughs> nice ep. Um... Nice. Good. <laughs> nice. So if people, are, I, I'm curious about kind of, it's been months and months since we did our first COVID episode when you had it. I'm wondering yeah. if people are experiencing it anew, if people have more tips for us. If you do, best place to get in contact with us is our Instagram feed. That's Instagram.com slash two gomers. Go to our bio and you can get to our link tree, which has links to basically everything. All of our social medias, the training plans we were just talking about, the t-shirts, I think I should put that link on there if it's not there. Yeah. At least (laughs) least some of them. them. (laughs) I should figure out how to make a secret link to our Walt Disney company owned (laughs) t-shirt at this point. Um, you can call us on the Gomer phone. That number is 608-622-7669. That's 608-NBA-PONY. Make sure you're rating, reviewing, and subscribing or following the podcast on whatever app you're listening to us on right now. Thank you to Davis for our music, Jason and Eric for our graphics, Adam, our webmaster, and Annie, our social media guru. Uh, we really just appreciate all of you guys and we appreciate all of our Patreon subscribers. Oh, yeah. Lots of good stuff this summer. If you are not a patron, make sure you are going to patreon.com slash two gomers, not only so that you're getting episodes every week, Overcoming Runner's Block is every other week, but on the off weeks, we release a perfect movie episode and other bonus apps, depending on the, what is it? The level. Sorry, I don't have any of this written down. And also, brain fog. Brain fog, dude. Well done. It's kind of it's kind of nice to blame everything on brain fog. <laughs> Sorry, but brain fog. If you subscribe at different levels, you'll get a whole bunch of different episodes. And if we get to two hundred patrons, two hundred Gomertrons, getting close. I will I will do the stepping out of our comfort zone next episode, which is running with a running group in Flagstaff, probably with Olympians. Ooh, maybe well, our, our numbers have been group. growing. We're almost at 200. So come on, folks. If you're not a Gomertron, now is the time. Join. Do it, dudes. So much cool stuff there. Definitely. All right, dude. Thanks for hearing me out. I felt like we can't we can't let this big event go by without talking totally, about it on the podcast. Man. No, great, Sharon. Glad you're recovering. And uh, yeah, dude, keep feeling better. Thanks, bro. Great app. Super fun, man. And remember, everybody, if we can do this, if we can overcome, Mm. you can too. And happy running. All right. Let's stop that. One, two, three. Stop. Okay. 49 minutes. Great. 
totally great. Let's do that um, intro real quick to the um, oh yeah code okay, brown. Great. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, I'm going to stop this.